Good morning, SoFlo. Welcome to the show. Thank you for joining us today. And starting things off, one of the biggest bands in music, Rock and Roll Hall of Famers, the Foo Fighters, are hitting the big screen. The guys are starring in their own horror movie that follows the story of the band writing their latest record. And get this, A Haunted House. Miriam Tapia got to speak with the guys to find out what it was like filming and discovered their art of reinvention. Do you guys get this overwhelming sense of death? Whoa. Doesn't really seem like the right fit. Whoa, that's rad. That was weird. The sound of this house is the sound of album 10. I'm really fascinated with the fact that you guys made a movie based on your experience at a haunted house while you guys were recording your latest album, Medicine at Midnight. Because if it were me, I would have dipped the F out. I would have been like, mm, this is not for me. <laughs> but I'll start with Dave. At what point in that process were you like, okay, I need to make a film. I need to make a movie about what we're going through. So it was time for us to make a record. And we rented that house that's in the film. We rented that house just to kind of like write and demo and stuff. But it sounded so good. We decided, okay, we're going to actually make the record here. Now, long before that, this friend of mine called me and said, hey, I just got out of a meeting with this like movie studio, and they said they want to make a horror film with the Foo Fighters. And I was like, that's so stupid. There's no way. Why would we ever make a horror film? That's so dumb. So while we were in that house, I'm like, oh, well, wait, maybe we should, because we're in, we have the house. We might as well just like come up with some stupid story and then film it. And then it really snowballed from there. First I thought, well, make a movie about us moving into a house and the house is haunted and then I get possessed and I kill everybody, blah, blah, blah. But then we got screenwriters and then also there's special effects and it turned into a full length feature film. So when we were done with the movie, when we were done with making the record, we decided, okay, let's tell everybody that this house is actually haunted. It wasn't. <laughs> So we were lying. We did all these interviews where we told everybody we were in a haunted house. Because then what we were going to do is we were just going to drop the movie out of nowhere when the album came out. So people would be like, oh, they were just messing with us. But then COVID happened and we had to wait a year and whatever. So. Since you guys are one of my favorite bands and if you ask any of my friends what your their favorite song is, it could go from Everlong to The Pretender to Making, uh, making the Fire. Your sound keeps evolving. So tell me, with over 25 years, what's the secret? Well, it's got to evolve a bit, you know, to keep it interesting and, and doing stuff like this, honestly, too. Like you do mm -hmm. a movie or Sonic Highways or videos or like whatever it is, like just to keep it fun and different. With this album, we got it more into a groove, groovier, almost dancey feel on a few songs which is something we never would have imagined us doing 10 or 15 years ago. And it was an experiment that turned out great, actually. Um, but also having the visuals to go with everything. And, and it all comes out of Dave's head. And then it, and a lot of people will say, well, you guys must have really great management. And we do. But the ideas have to come from the band and, or, and from the artists or whatever. And so I think part of the thing that keeps us evolving is, like Nate said, stuff like this, like a horror movie, like Sonic Highways documentary, like the van documentary that Dave did, like back mm -hmm. and forth. Don't ever stop yeah. because fans like me will always enjoy. Thanks, Dave, crew, everybody, I love y'all. I want to hug y'all so much. Bye. <laughs> We're hugging Bye. you. We're hugging you. you. Yeah. Here you go, man. Finish the song.